happy if we are going live, but I'm sure Facebook will let us know. Uh, and we're live. Good afternoon. How are you, beautiful? It says Hello. we're streaming live. So, yeah. Um, have you got a phone or something up that you can see any comments? Because yeah, I'll I'll get the phone up and I'll have it. I don't. I don't have that at the moment. Um, I could, but it's Friday afternoon, but guys, and um, you know who here is looking for a, um, I guess, a, a really relaxing weekend, time to yourself, time to breathe. I know the beautiful guests uh, that we have today is looking forward to the weekend and some time off. Um, she's been moving a little bit. The beautiful Lee Hancock. Welcome, Lee. It's lovely to have you here today. Hi, everybody, and hi, Lucia. Thanks for having me. It's awesome being a guest speaker. Yeah, you're very welcome. Um, so let us let us just get right into it because we only have half an hour, and I know that you and I, when we get together, we have a tendency to talk a lot, right? Um, many many of um, many of us in business. Um, I guess we uh, we find that um, having that conversation is the key to to our growth and our and our business development. So we're really good at talking. Sometimes it's harder to just listen. So let us let us know a little bit about what you do and who is Lee Hancock to start with. Where are you from and what do you do? How do you support women and people in business? Hi, thanks Lucia. So I hail from Rhodesia, which is now Zimbabwe, from a little country town called Salisbury, which was the capital. So I grew up in a very um, sheltered existence because it was very sheltered and very uh, naive. When I was 20, I immigrated to Johannesburg, the big metropolitan city, and had a wide awakening, got into advertising, and that was pretty wild, <laughs> which suited my personality at the time. <laughs> and then uh, the plan was to go to New York, which I thought was the center of the universe. But then I got married, had kids, and um, and settled down. I guess in a way, not completely. In Johannesburg, Lee, in Johannesburg. In Johannesburg, yeah. yeah. So um, it's a bit like Sydney, like a capital city. Yeah. So very much like Sydney, uh, hustle and bustle and go getting. And um, then in 2004, we immigrated as a family, even though I was separated from my husband. Sorry, the dog's going for a walk. Uh, that's what they do, hey? And Miss Millie just has to guard the house. Wait, get down. Come on. Keep well, going, Lee. Sorry. Um, yeah, so, um, so I immigrated to um, Perth in Australia, of course. And I um, started on real estate that I was continuing to do from South Africa, but then decided it wasn't the lifestyle I wanted from moving. I wanted a, a calmer, relaxed, enjoyable That's lifestyle. Yeah. However, I then went into the office and was an office manager and all of that, which was just 24 seven, became a senior cost controller, which was even more stressful and very well paid, but very stressful. And then I took ill, I had a few illnesses and I went to live in Mongolia and Beijing with my ex fiance of 10 years now. And uh, we were engaged for 10 years. We've been separated for nearly eight years. Uh, over, not separated, it's done. And um, yeah, so when I came back from Mongolia, I had to find something to earn money. And I started my business, which is the makeup removing towel business, which does very well. And then I uh, had health issues before that actually which got me interested in health and wellness and natural products so i uh, joined a company that does health products and um, all natural etc and so i was doing all of yeah you use all of those products i use all of them uh, actually i use every single one of them <laughs> yeah so i do i use everything yeah. and uh, it, it actually from a previous company where the formulator was to this company he's started his own business my health just went up a notch okay. which was excellent so i was healthy from my illnesses then i got just up a bit bit more so anyway so that's a side side thing and then the lashes and the cosmetics um and skincare range now it's also a side hustle to go with my makeup and moving towels however 
my passion is helping women um, and men, but mostly women, but I do have men that I coach, um, to, to grow their businesses, to mentor them in their businesses, to give them ideas. Um, I just love being on social media, as you know. I just did a little live before, and then I've created a TikTok, and then even a crazier TikTok, and, and, um, and I just love it, and I love helping and teaching. So ever since I was young, actually, I used to uh, coach people and teach them, whatever it was. I was one of the first people in South Africa to get a computer when they came out, the HPs, and I had to ascend to go and learn it, and then I had to teach everybody, and I've basically been teaching my entire life and mentoring people, and I'm a course facilitator, and I just love, uh, like we were talking the other day, I love it when my, my little baby bears uh, win, and then you're the granny bear, because you're my business coach. So um, it's just so rewarding to see people grow and have the, the light bulb goes off and they get it and it's just amazing. So yeah. I really love helping people uh, earn extra money, yeah. uh, get healthy and um, grow their businesses. And help, help support other people, you know, like in the, in the end or in the long run, um, each one is, is helping someone else. So mm -hmm. in the long run, what you learn, you're, you're teaching to other people, which is fantastic. Mm. So, um, you know, you were saying about coaching, you've been doing it um, for a long time, um, you know, even as a, an office manager. Were you working in the mining industry at the time? Like, No, that was in the advertising industry. Advertising. Actually. I was doing, um, at that point, I was doing scheduling. So mm -hmm. all the um, Holiday Inn, Gillette's, Coca-Cola, BMW, all the big accounts, I was scheduling the programming uh, when, when the ads would go on. Um, and that's when I was doing the computer training because, and all, all it was in those days was you learned how to do data entry yeah, <laughs> because right. that was the beginning of computers. I put in the data and, and so it started. Yeah, I, I remember when I first started at the radio station, I was actually doing the intervals, you know, like the, the, the time when there wasn't any music on. Yeah. I would be typing in into the schedules that what the um, disc jockeys or whatever, that's what they were called in those yeah. days. The DJs were actually talking. Yeah. Um, I would I would type it out and put it into the schedule. So <laughs> yeah, it's, it's amazing. We've got some cross links there. Yeah. 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 So advertising and marketing are very very similar. Very similar. In in um, my hair's got a bit arrived this afternoon. It's got like it's, it's mama <laughs> not standing for its next thing. Um, it's interesting. Marketing and advertising are very closely kind of related like we we um, look at our clients I guess their their their, um, their pain points what's what's um, what's happening in in their in their lives that they want changed and when it comes to your clients Lee what is the big thing um, that comes up for for your clients starting out um, I guess in social media at the, like because that's what you're you're teaching social media, TikToks, all those yeah. other, yeah. other um, modality, like, well, they're not modalities, but those other platforms. Mm -hmm. What What is one of the key things that comes up as you're coaching these people? I think the, the most important, the, the thing that comes out is they really don't know where to start or what to do. And a lot of people then do nothing. Yeah. So you'll see a lot of people, um, sorry, I'm just watching Bella walking around and around. I wonder if she wants to go out. Um, <laughs> I'm keeping a hairy, a hairy eye on her with my lashes like, what are you doing? Um, sorry. Um, yeah, they just don't know where to start. And, they, and they're told to, well, grow your business, grow your numbers. Um, if they're part of a MLM normally, they're just told, go and get the deal, close the deal, post this, post that. And the people are totally, sorry, let me let her out. Uh, so Lee's going to be back now. Lee is um, owner operator of her um, cosmetic white uh, palette, and um, also she runs um, three MLM MLM businesses. Uh, 
to so it's the health one and the Tory Bell. Yeah. Oh, a Tory Bell. Okay. Um, I was thinking of the other one. That yeah. So about. this one is my own business. That's so. your own. Mm -hmm. um, and through through running these businesses, Lee has learnt that um, you know many of the companies they they sign people up, but then they just step away, right? They just kind of go, radio, you go out there in social media. And this is where I think sales gets a, a little bit of a, um, a name because, you know, um, because we don't know, know what to do as, as individuals, you know, like um, they just go out there and say, hey, I've got this great stuff. You want to buy some, you know, and it's like, <laughs> come away, you know, like, ah, oh, no. So teaching people the, the right way um, is, is um, such an amazing skill and you've had plenty of years to, um, to learn that skill. So yeah. is that what you're finding that um, your clients are those people? Well, a lot of the MLM people and um, oh. just small business owners, they, really, they don't even know where to start mm -hmm. and they, they don't understand why they need to have, for instance, groups you know they're just on their personal pages and nothing's happening and we know that because of the algorithms on fat you know they have no not a clue so if you friend some people and you see they've just opened there or they've been on facebook for 12 years but there's actually nothing there maybe an odd picture um and they don't post regularly and stuff like that so they've got to be taught they've got to be taught the the nuts and bolts which is to post daily or at least three times a week to start yeah. to start doing the lives which as you know get a lot of um you know yeah. attraction yeah. and and all of that so that they really are lost and they and they and then they don't understand between facebook and instagram and that they, they want to know like why where should i be and what should i be doing so yeah. all of that of course i leave the instagram for later because if they ask me i'll, I'll give them a little bit but facebook is the main main one that they need to be on at first um, and not to just be salesy all the time because that puts people off totally and people are just like these MLMs, you people, all you want to do is sell. So, yeah. Yeah. so yeah. just to teach them manners and etiquette a, a lot as well as the um, um, capabilities. Mm. And there are capabilities like you've, um, you've put up a post just this week in, the, in your uh, personal page and, you know, you've, you've booked clients from it so, mm -hmm. so it's adding I guess it's adding that value to what you're what you're offering to people you know there's got to be um, that that value so um, Lee talk us a little bit about your makeup wipes because I think this is fantastic you know like your creation like you created this from nothing and um yeah just talk us through well all i've got here with me right now because <laughs> uh, the rest are upstairs because i'm now in an upstairs downstairs house <laughs> oh, <right. Okay. laughs> cool. i've got to get organized but this is uh the same except this one's a beautician towel but it's, uh, the makeup removing towels are half of that oh, yeah. and what it is it's a microfiber blend um, cloth that is gentle and soft you just use warm water and it takes off all your makeup, including uh, waterproof, takes off the magnetic liner and it takes off uh, mud masks, waterproof. And it even takes off permanent lip. This is not permanent lipstick, but that permanent lipstick. Uh, uh, lipstick. I can't remember the name of it right now, but that, that's not supposed to come off for 24 hours. But it actually removes that if you use uh, hotter water and have the cloth wetter, it'll rub off uh, quite easily, actually. So, um, so no chemicals, it's good for the environment because I'll tell you a fact, from a few years ago, so from five years ago, the Sydney Water um, people, it's not the Water Corp there, it's whatever it is, the Sydney Water Board, um, face wipes, so the baby wipes, the face wipes, all of those, in a year, they can line them up next to each other from Perth, no, from Sydney to Los Angeles and back. That's how many go through the, the wastewater systems. They block up the sanitation. They block up the rivers. They pollute. They don't uh, disintegrate like um, they say they do, you know, that they're flushable and they do not do that. They just 
buying up the, the, the systems and the, they spend millions fixing yeah. them. So they're really bad for the environment, as well as chemicals. So if you're using a product that's got chemicals in, it's not good for your skin. And those wipes are not good for your skin. So this is gentle and it's just water. And then you put it in the washing machine a few times a week and, and they last for over two years. So you're spending money, you're saving the environment and you're looking after your skin. So. And um, you can probably use it for a cloth for the car after two years because it's... So the old ones are used for doggy eye. You know, your dogs that eye, I use it as a... a they actually great glass cleaners, glasses, yep. Yep. like your glasses. So yep. I've got one in the car that I use for my glasses. Yeah, and just as a rag if you want. So even, you know, they won't go into the landfill because you can carry on using them because uh, even when they... Last, isn't it? Fabric I've got clients who still got theirs after five years, and I say, for goodness sake, they don't cost an arm and a leg. Get another one, for goodness yeah. sake. Yeah. <laughs> I bought them for everyone's Christmas. I I put one in everyone's Christmas packs. Uh, mm -hmm. um, probably two years ago now, I remember ordering a whole a whole mm -hmm. of them from you. Um, so if anyone wants to know about either wholesaling and getting some of these from Lee. Um, you know, for your business or, you know, you've got a, I don't know, a salon and you may want to use these. Um, Lee does big, uh, big salons. So, you know, um, get in touch, comment, uh, why, uh, what are they called? Cloth. Just, that, just me makeup removing towel. But if you just comment just me, I'll know what it just is. Just me towel. Put just me towel and um, Lee will um, get in touch with you. She'll message you and um, share some details for you. Mm. So, Lee, um, we probably um, uh, something else I'd like to just elaborate on now is that, um, like, as as you've gone through this process of uh, you know getting yourself in business, you've been um, juggling like family life as a grandparent as well. So. You, you have a few balls up in the air, don't you, as far as um, family and, and running the business. Can you just share a little bit about that? that would yes, be so for the past five years up to um, Sunday, <laughs> <laughs> that was Sunday, I was actually looking after my two little granddaughters full time, uh, being like a mum to them because their mum is absent. And uh, I started looking after Ivy when she was only one and well, I was four. So trying to, um, you know, do everything for them. My son works for himself and is, you know, a dad. So I'll do everything from the morning till the evening. And um, I loved actually the time with Ivy growing her up because before she started school full time, we could, she came with me to all my coffee dates and uh, met, learned how to socialize and, and listen and, and behave in a, in a, with the other women and she loved it. Yeah, she and, loved um, it. and she was a joy um, then school started and that blew that. But um, it was pretty tough and very, um, it brought my working hours down to just those few hours between school drop off and um, pick up um, yeah. because before and after so, I had to be pretty organized to, to do what I was doing. And um, yes, yeah, sometimes we had really bad days, as you know, and I couldn't function. And I, uh, there's been a shift in me. Um, I think earlier this year, I had a shift or a few months ago, at least about six months ago, where when I had a really bad day with um, whatever, uh, with Willow, normally I'd be um, Nice. Just the whole day, I'd cancel everything and just, yeah. I don't know, not, not, feel not sorry. Not yeah, sure. I feel sorry for myself and not be able to function. And then suddenly I noticed a shift where I got upset, but then still carried on. And I think it was my um, motivation to help people and carry on learning with you and, and, and the others that I've been learning with. And just and then it, it wouldn't be like an all day thing, it might be a moment or half an hour. And then I'd just snap out of it and keep on working. So I don't know how that happened, but um, I did notice that, yeah, it was a really terrible morning, not normal, but I'm still here and I'm still coping. So um, I am getting some extra help, as you know, from Yolanda, 
at the moment from other things but you know everybody should reach out for help because our mindset if you if you're in that situation you can't work you can't earn money just start being unwell you can't work and you can't function or earn money and you 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 know you can't help anybody when you when you're helpless so um, it's, it's really important yeah it's interesting that you said that because i find as a coach when i'm so in into myself that's when i get so uh confused and um you know like i just feel like i, I question everything i do and then when we're supporting others that is really the time that the focus goes away from yourself and you're you're really focused on who you're helping and who you're supporting in their in their growth journey or in their journey to to make a difference to other people and i um yeah i really commend you for acknowledging that because um it can happen you know a couple of times a day you're probably fine now it can happen a couple of times a day but you won't shrink or diminish because you'll go oh that's it that's what's mm. coming up you know mm. and um when you're in a group with a, a group of women that um, are working on their mindset, they're working on how to help others, that's when you get that, that real um, connection, but it's also the connection to yourself. So you really start to understand yourself, what's going on for you. And is that your dog or my that's dog? my dog now. <laughs> Somebody walked down the driveway. <laughs> Clyde with the dogs today. <laughs> um, Millie's still watching at the at the, the window here. She's like, no, you come near my, my yard and I'm going to bite you. Um, she's about this size, guys. She's a little pint size. But isn't it funny how uh, that shift can happen uh, for everyone when you're with a group of women that are helping support each other it, it's it's very very interesting and i've seen it in a couple of you ladies um as time goes by there's been some real ahas in your in your mindset you know so it's beautiful to see I love it. I love and it. and and our group well your group but the group that that uh, yes. that i was with that i am with um you know and you've taught us as well when somebody's having bad to reach out to them so I've been doing that a lot lately because I know what it's like and you feel like you're alone and you don't want to bother people. So you're not going to reach out to them, although I did the other day with you, I was like bawling my eyes out and couldn't talk. But um, you don't want to bother other people because you think they're busy and they haven't got time and you also don't want to get them upset with what you're going through. So it's good for, um, it's so long as you know, you know if they intimate or somebody says just give them a call okay, it's good yeah. for us to reach out to them so yeah. they're not feeling like we are like, like they're needy or whatever because sometimes i feel needy when it's always about me <laughs> i guess you know the thing is um we have been conditioned to believe that our emotional state as women is a neediness mm. we've been we've been trained we've been conditioned to feel that way mm. and um we're not we're just more emotional than our counterparts. Um, you know, we we express things so so differently. Mm -hmm. um, men men internalize so much more. Mm -hmm. uh, women express and, mm -hmm. and you know talk about things. Men men um, do not have that ability. Some do, not not a lot that I've ever met. Um, they do carry a lot of it internally. Um, and that's why it's good to have a group. And, you know, Global Resilient Females is one of those groups. You've got a group, Lee. What can you share with the ladies what it's, your group's name is? It's just me, social media coaching. Yeah. Okay. So anyone that wants to go and join Lee, wants to know more about social media and how to, you know, ante up in the social media field or just how to do TikTok or instagram you know contact lee because lee's your girl she's got a fair few um little tips there yeah, and a lot of mlm uh, ladies that i don't coach according to your product or my product it's just a general coaching which anybody can use so i would recommend mlms people in different mlms they're so scared to do coaching outside of their businesses 
But it's different coaching, so it'll teach you more than what you're getting. Can you explain that a bit, please, Lee? Mm -hmm. So the MLMs will teach you about, maybe if you're lucky, they'll tell you about the products. But mostly they will say to you, um, you know, always be closing the deal. And then and they're just about sales. So they will give you scripts that are totally about sales, not about how are you, how are you doing, um, I'd like to know more about you, or, or nothing like that. It's all about sales. So it might be something like, hey, have you seen my product? I'm doing so well. So it's all about sales. Yeah. Yeah. Whereas, and, and it's re re relative to what they're selling. So when you, you know, you've known me with mine, with yeah. the health drink and that. So I was just posting without saying what it was and just smiling. And, um, but then they give you the script to say after that if somebody likes or comments and it's purely sales. Yeah. Um, I think now they're shifting a bit, but they're not telling you what to do. So what I do is I tell you how to approach people, how to make friends how to uh, get them to like, know and trust you, how to do those referral posts instead of salesy posts, yeah. how to do like the interest posts, the, the knowledge, the funny, the inspirational, yeah. and then maybe once a week do a, a salesy right. post, but without sa a referral posts, it's not salesy at all. So, um, because yeah. people are so over being, uh, it's like spamming, and, I, and I'm going to say right now, the Bitcoin people are the worst because they will um, go straight at you. And if you say no thanks, they carry on and they carry on. And when you say, I'm really not interested, we can either be friends or we'll, I'll wish you adieu. So long, farewell, <laughs> may you be well. And, um, and so I'd love to coach them because they got no manners. They just go straight for the, for the guts and they don't give up. And, I just, and then I just tell people, give them the, the security that you can just block and delete people without any yeah. worry. And, and that, that brings us a certain amount of fear um, into, mm. into the equation, then, unfortunately. So um, thank you, Lee, for your time today. It's been wonderful. Have you got a special offer or something for our members that might interest them? Um, maybe in the, um, or just, just share with us and then in later in the chat, you can put it. Um, but yeah. Uh, yeah, I think because I'm doing it for my group and for no reason at all on Monday night if they've put on the, the post I put in my, my, my group, which you, you, we can use this as, the, as yeah. the post, if you put your name down, um, I'm going to do a lucky uh, wheel spin and Ra oh, yeah. Rachel yeah. probably have to help me again because <laughs> I haven't done one for a while, I'll have to work on that. So Monday night I'm going to do it and I've got um, two beautiful of these lip glosses which are um, I've got a red um, lip stain and I have the 24 karat gold one this one's got a bit of lipstick on it so it's not um, the color that it should be but uh, it's got 24 karat gold in it and uh, gold, you just gold. shine your lips okay. so I've got that one in a red stain which is hang on a moment I have one right here that I prepared earlier I've got one like this, which is actually a red lip stain. Um, these are vegan and that I do find this um, um, tingles a bit, yep. but this is a lovely color. So I've got a red one. So I'll do two drawers. So what I'll do is I'll do one in my group and one in your group, if you like. Yeah, that'd be lovely, Lee. Thank you. So I can give that away. And then the specials, I've got specials on my website, which is um, you buy five, just me makeup removing tiles, you get one free. And that's at the reduced price because they retail for 30 and I sell them for 20 each. So it's good value and they're 12 colors. So not just black, <laughs> lots of nice bright colors. And what if people want to know more about social media? Um, what do you have as an offer for that? For people? Yes, so what we can do is maybe give a, a $20 off uh, the next course that's coming up. And I recommend everybody start with the let's get going on social media. So they learn my, I'll say my method, it's not my method. Uh, it's a predictive social media method, but you learn the basics. And then we will go on to the masters and the VIP course. So. Um, but if you, you know, and that's a four week uh, course, um, okay. one hour a week. So half an hour presentation, half an hour chatting. Beautiful. Mm. If you want to know about the masterclass, just comment masterclass. 
Lee will um, hook up with you and she will tell you a little more about that in a mm -hmm. conversation probably. Okay, thank you, beautiful lady. It's been lovely. Thank you, thank yeah. you so much. It's been lovely having you. And it's like a Friday afternoon. I've got a little patio out there. I could go and sit and have a drink if I drank. So I'll have to just have my health drink. <laughs> Put it in a wine glass and then just pretend. Oh, that's a good idea. I think I'll do that. That's Thank you. Yeah. yeah. So, bye, Facebook land. Um, have a great weekend. Take care of yourselves. And uh, we'll see you all again next week. Thank you, Lee. Thank you very much, Lucia. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Bye.